Hi, Scorpio. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergy season. <laughs> What's going on, Scorpio? This is your girl D with 8th House Energy, and I'm here to bring you your um, 2022 Saturn return reading. This is going to be a general reading for Scorpio. Um, it may hit home more so for, um, I mean, it could be any placement in Scorpio, but Saturn and Scorpio specifically, South Node and Scorpio specifically, um, and then your regular placements, okay? So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if you need a personal, my information is in the box below. What I would like you to do before you finish watching this reading is pause it, put it on pause, go to the uh, 8th House Energy Community section, the Community tab. Look down at the posting that I did for June 4th, and you'll see where it talks about um, you'll see where it talks about uh, Saturn uh, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. So read that, right, and then you'll get an understanding of what we're doing here as reference to this video. All right, and the setup. All right, so we're dealing with uh, past, present, and future karma energy, and we're also incorporating Pluto in. So for you, Scorpio, uh, Saturn, Saturn's in your um, fourth, your fourth house. Saturn's in Aquarius in your fourth house. And then um, we're also dealing with your third house because that's where Pluto is in uh, retrograde in the house of Capricorn. So you'll understand why I'm combining Pluto and Saturn because you know Saturn deals with karma, Pluto deals with reincarnation, and you don't reincarnate in one world to the next without acquiring or bringing karma with you all right so we're dealing with past life karma current karma that you create and the current karma that you create uh then turns into the karma that you receive in the future and if you don't receive that karma in the future and we're talking about good or bad or indifferent if you don't receive that karma in this life and you die before it comes back to you then it will start over again it will be energies from your past life moving into your current life and then so on and so forth. So it's always a cycle. This is why um, Pluto and Saturn go hand in hand, as far as I'm concerned, in reference to past life energies. Now, let's take a look at what's going on. Is there anything else I need to tell you before we start it? No, watch the, I mean, read the, um, the information in the community tab. All right, let's kick it. So we're talking about past life energies. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I told you Capricorn is in your um, third house, right? Pluto's in retrograde there. And then Aquarius is in your fourth house in retrograde there in, in Aquarius. Okay, yeah, covered everything. Past life energies. We have the love energy in reverse. The lover energy in reverse. And then we have the melancholy energy. So... The Saturn energy represents your uh, fourth house. So when it comes to family, um, your personal life, things like that. In your past life, uh, the lover energy is in reverse. So maybe you didn't have a lover or maybe you lost a lover. Um, one or the other. And so the psychology behind that or the, you know, what was, how, it was, uh, how you were feeling about that was sad depressed, okay, um, unhappy, and melancholy energy is an energy of, you know, um, you not really understanding why you're ha unhappy, or why you, not that you don't understand why, is that maybe you've been happy for an abnormally long period of time, and you're having a problem shaking it. You know, when we lose people, whether we break up with someone, or, you know, they go their separate ways, or, you know, we lose them to death in the physical realm, you know, you go through grieving. Um, you go through five stages of grieving with death, you know, a physical death, in the same way that you go through five stages of grieving when you have a divorce. You know, or, um, you know, when your child moves out, <laughs> you know, and, and you're one of those parents where it's like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I can't take it. It's one of those types of things you go through the stages. And um, sometimes you don't come out of that grieving or depressed stage. And no matter what you do, you can't shake it. And that's kind of what melancholy is. You may not know why. So it could be because maybe a lover deceived you in your past life. Okay? Um, but somehow there was a love that was lost or there was no love. The lover could have been playing games with you. But at any rate, that energy, whatever that karma is, 
that you were dealing with in a past life, it was not settled before you passed away. And so as a result, it came with you into your current life where you are right now in this 3D realm. And so well, how it manifests right now and what you're dealing with right now is love. So maybe this is your focus. Maybe in your past life you didn't have love and so in this life, and it made you very sad. And so you didn't find love in the past life. So now in this life, you're all about looking for that love, right? The psychology behind it is self-assurance. So the self-assurance energy could represent the fact that um, maybe you need to believe that you deserve love, okay? Uh, maybe this love will give you self-assurance that you are lovable. That could be why you're looking for love. Um... You know, maybe there was nobody around you or it could be in a past life that the people who were around you, they didn't show you any love. And the melancholy energy could be like, yo, I just don't understand why people don't like me. Now, this could have happened in the past life and you died sad. And then in this life, because of that energy that's still with you, you're, you're looking for love. Could be in all the wrong places. Could be from family members, you know, because um, we're dealing with the fourth house, right? And we're dealing with the third house. So it could be the lifestyle choice you had in a past life where it was like, yo, I'm not interested in settling down. You know, I don't want love. Or, you know, maybe you were dealing with someone who was like that and it made you sad. But at any rate, that karmic energy did not, it didn't come back to you before you passed. Now you're here dealing with this. Now, while we're in the summer energies, because these planets are going to be in retrograde from now until uh, October... You may be, you know, you it may come to mind for you, you know, what kind of karmic energies you're dealing with in reference to love and relationships uh, or family love, but some type of love, okay? Now, you'll have all summer to marinate on this. We'll be in the lab all summer because I say the lab because, you know, a lot of planets are going to be in retrograde. When planets are in retrograde, it's a, it's a time of self-reflection to go within, and look at what's going on with you in, in reference to those energies in the area of life that those energies are present in. So, you know, if you've been with the channel, you know every year all the planets go in retrograde around the summertime. They start off in the spring and then they all, little by little, by the time we're in, like, August, like, six of the planets will be in retrograde. Something like that. Right? All at the same time. So, you know, speaking of which, uh, Neptune goes in retrograde at the end of the month. Um... And then next month, Jupiter goes in retrograde. Chiron goes in retrograde. That's in July. And then in August, uh, who is it? Uranus, once again, <laughs> goes in retrograde. So, and all these planets will be in retrograde until the fall. You know, when Libra season comes and we look at the, uh, you know, another aspect of karma. But at any rate, in your current life, you could be looking for love. Focused on love, right? Um... And the self-assured part will clarify and find out what that could mean. But again, it could mean that, you know, the psychology behind you looking for love is for self-assurance. It could be that, you know, you're self-assured and um, maybe that's the problem why, you know, you're having problems finding love. Maybe you're having problems connecting with people who are self-assured. We'll see. But whatever that energy is, you're going to be marinating on that. It's going to come to mind, whatever, whatever, however it affects you. And we'll clarify any extent to get more detail on that. To see exactly how it may show up. But all summer you're going to be marinating on this energy. And whatever comes to mind the most is what it is that you're going to need to be reflecting on. And Saturn is an energy of telling you, okay, it's time to let things go. When it goes in retrograde, it's time to let things go. It's time to move on. It's time to uh, discipline yourself. It's time to uh, grow up. It's time to go from one stage to the next. And then with the uh, Pluto retrograde energy, that's going to be having you look at, okay, well, if it's time to move on, then I need to, re I need to uh, metamorph. I need to go into cocoon and change and transform because, for example, Saturn is telling you, okay, you, it's, time, it's done. Your time is up being a butterfly. So then uh, Pluto comes in and says, okay, well, it's time for me to go into cocoon and metamorph. And so you go in the cocoon and you metamorph. So right now you're in the cocoon. When all the planets are in retrograde, you're in the cocoon, you're in the cocoon, metamorphing. 
And while you're metamorphing, you're not just going through physiological changes within your DNA structure. Because you are when you close out karmic cycles. That happens for you. But not are you go only are you going through the physiological changes, you're going through the chemical changes in your brain as well. Shedding, you know, the attachments that you had to karmic situations, ideas, people, places, and things that you need to uh, let go of. So you're going through that. You're going through that through the summer. Once the planet, once these two planets go direct in um, October, by then, you will have shed old skin and you will begin anew. You will be that butterfly. However, if you go, if you don't go into the cocoon or you don't come out, <laughs> one or the other. What could happen is um, the karma that you're making right now and is here in, in, in the now. If you don't close out the old karma, it's still going to be attached to you. And what's going to happen is moving forward, you're going to you're going to accrue like negative karma. Because, you know, with karma, you have to settle it. You don't have a choice. The lessons are going to keep beating you upside the head until you do. And if it beats you upside to the head to the point where Saturn says, OK, time out. As in, it's time for you to leave this planet. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're here for a reason. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's time for you to go. Then Pluto's going to say, okay, time to regenerate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Time to metamorph. All right, so let's metamorph out of this physical form. And let's go in, in into something different. And then you come into, and then Saturn comes in and says, okay, you're going to come into the physical flesh. And you got to start all over again. So what you want to do is so you don't have to start over again in the next life because you will be back. And if this is some type of um, situation where it's something that's an injustice, you don't want to have the negative uh, karma of some type of injustice following you. So what you want to do is make things right now so that moving forward, you have positive karma coming to you. Some of us have done some really screwed up things in our past life. And we didn't pay for it then. So now we're here and we experience some crucial, crazy shit that we didn't even do anything for in this life, but it hit us. So this is the reason why, you know, you may say, okay, well, damn, you know, that was a good person. Why it's too bad that that happened to them? Or I'm a good person. Why did, why would this happen to me? What, what did I do to deserve this? And you may not have done shit. It's just that there's some past life karma where you did some things in the past and they're coming to bite you in the ass this time around. So nobody gets away with anything, whether, you know, you think somebody does. Somebody could have did something really atrocious to somebody, something really terrible and unforgivable. It could have even taken someone's life. And maybe they never got caught and prosecuted by the 3D law. But spiritually, this person is going to have to metamorph back, metamorph back into the physical form. And when they do, I guarantee you the first 30 to 40 years of their life, they're going to be serving that karma for whatever they did to that person. Now, if you should happen to live and survive through the karma, like I said, when you get to about 30, 40 years old, you may have settled most of that. If you're smart enough and you recognize what the lessons are and you leave it behind, then at that point when, you know, the planets go direct, uh, you will begin a new cycle, right? So here is where you are right now. So when the planets go direct, if you've not resolved this karma, what could happen is we have the letter energy in reverse. So if you haven't solved this karma here, this could be that you don't make, you don't get the communication. You don't get downloads. All right. Or you don't hear from this love that you want. You don't get this love. You miss the message. It could be that somebody maybe sent you a message, somebody who's going to, you know, connect with you for whatever reason, and you just don't get that message. Or you ignore it. Why? Because psychologically you could be intimidated or this person could be intimidated by you. So this self-assured energy could represent the fact that, um, you know, hmm, self-esteem could be an issue. So I feel like this is self-love energy. Oops, a little... Lint there. Self -love, self love is what I'm getting from this situation. So for some of you, you may not understand why. Okay, so with the fourth house, maybe your family didn't show you any love. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a past life, but it could have been. But also keep in mind, as an adult, your past life is your childhood. Your past life in this realm is your childhood. It's deep, but it is. So we're dealing with the fourth house for you. In the third house. So for some of you, it could be issues with siblings and family. 
Okay, so maybe you did not get love from your family and from your siblings. Okay, and so that caused you to be sad. Right? Don't understand why they treat you dirty. Why they do you the way they do. So now you're an adult. So you may be connecting with, attracting to you. People, places, things, and scenarios from that lack of self-love that you didn't get. So as a result, as you move on through life and you grow, you get to a point where it's like, yo, why am I in these shitty relationships? Why can't I keep a, a good friendship? Why this? Why that? In reference to your personal feelings and being able to be on the same page or, or meet someone who's evenly yoked. That's because you may not have the self-assurance in reference to being in a real relationship. So for some of you, that's because of the lack of love you had. So you could have been out here on some looking for love in all the wrong places type of mentality. Right? Because you don't have the self-assurance that you deserve love. That's because the people that you were around when you were a child or whoever you were dealing with in a past life or maybe you did somebody dirty in the past. Maybe you did this to your kids in the past. Like, I mean, if you come from a family where, um, you know, they didn't treat you well as a child. You were, you know, they didn't treat you kind. They were mean to you emotionally. It could very well be that these people who you're in this family with, you were in a family with them in a past life. And maybe the roles were reversed. So if you had a mom who did you dirty, maybe your mom was your child. In your past life and maybe you weren't a good parent or you know if you got siblings who did you dirty because we are dealing with the third and fourth the third and fourth house you know maybe um those siblings that are doing you dirty now in this life maybe you were their mother or maybe you were a sibling to them in a the past life and you treated them like shit like it's things like that and when you stop and think about it everything that's going on in your life right now is the reverse opposite of what was going on in your past life. So, you know, if you um, don't get along with your family members now, it could be because, you know, you were a tyrant to them in the past life. It could be, doesn't necessarily mean that was the case. You have to look at your chart. But sometimes that's how karma works. So, you know, be good to your kids. All right? Because you could come back into this past life and you could be the child of a parent who did you dirty, maybe because you weren't good to your kids. But in this lifetime here, you're looking for love, you know, and I, the self-assurance energy here is telling me that you don't have the self-esteem. And that's not your fault. But at some point, you're going to have to be held accountable with all of these reckless relationships that you're um, uh, attracting to yourself because of the fact that you didn't get the love you needed as a kid. So you naturally, if you don't get that emotional support as a kid, naturally you go out into the world looking for it. And unfortunately, you run into fucking predators. Of all sorts. Men who see that you're a woman who, you know, you grew up in a, a family that, you know, emotionally destroyed you. Women who see that, you know, you grew up in a family who emotionally destroyed you. And so they see that energy in you and they know that you want love. They know you want love. They could see it and smell it all over you. So it's like your prey, your fresh meat. And so because you don't have the self-assurance to realize or you didn't have the self-assurance to realize that, hey, I'm attracting these, um, you know, I, I, I'm people pleasing. I'm doing too much. I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm doing too much and I'm not getting what, I'm, what I deserve. You get tired and you bump your head. So once you realize you bump your head, that's when a lot of times the plan is going retrograde. So that's when you sit down and you go within and you reflect and you're like, damn, why do I keep attracting these types of situations. And you trace it back to your childhood. You're like, okay. Yeah, it all started when I, okay, yeah, I don't get along with my mom, fourth house. I don't get along with my siblings, third house. I got Pluto in retrograde in my third house. Saturn in retrograde in my fourth. My family, you know, they did me dirty. They, they, they didn't give me the emotional support that I needed. Some of them actually took advantage of me and did me dirty, abused me in various ways. And so as a result, I got away from them, but, or maybe you're still dealing with them, but the uh, relationships that you attract now are the same type of people who are similar to your family members. People who emotionally manipulated you, abused you, took advantage of you. You know, um, you may have been in situations where you were sexually assaulted and or molested or raped. 
because of these types of energies. And so you're hitting a brick wall. And so at this point in time, many of you are with the Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde energies. Now it's time to look at, okay, when does it stop? That's what the Saturn retrograde energy is. When does this shit stop? The Pluto retrograde energy is, okay, what do you want to do about it? So for some of you, you're settling karmic debt. You paid for this up until now. So with Saturn in retrograde, now it's, you know, reassessing like, okay, did you learn your lesson? Are you ready to move on? Are you ready to get your blessings? And if you do, then that means that this is going to represent the fact that, okay, with the letter energy in reverse here, um, if these people try to contact you, you're not going to answer them. Or they're not going to try to contact you. Y you know, these people may be afraid to reach out to you. Why? Because they're intimidated. Because you stood up in your power and you said, you know what, I had enough, I'm out. You're not going to keep treating me this way. I don't deserve this. Right? But if you don't recognize what happened and you don't come to terms with it, it's very important that you come to terms with it. That's what the Pluto energy is all about. Going through that metamorphosis and understanding, okay, I know what happened to me. Now what I need to do is heal, you know, accept what it was, know that it wasn't my fault. And now that I know it wasn't my fault because I was just around some assholes, because I didn't do nothing to these people to make them treat me this way. So now I just have to accept the fact that I was just around some assholes. You know, that was my karma. Because some of us don't understand why we're born into family members, fa I mean family dynamics where we're treated like shit and done dirty. And not that it makes it any better, but if you kind of understand how karma works... And you may understand, okay, well, damn, I didn't do nothing to these people. All I do is try to love them and, and they treat me like shit. Why? So again, for some of you, it could be that in a past life, you knew these people and you may have deceived them in some way, shape, or form. And it has something to do with your family, especially with the fourth house. You're reincarnated back into the same family. The people just switch roles. Maybe you were the father in the last, uh, in the last life. And now in this life, you're the son. Or maybe you were the grandmother in the last life and now you're the grandkid. You know what I'm saying? You're reincarnating back. A lot of you are reincarnating back into the same family. And so those energies and those animosities of people who, since you were a kid, you never got along. You don't understand why. Because you and this person had a relationship in the past life that wasn't settled. And you're rubbing this person, your, their, your energy is rubbing this person's energy wrong. And it could be vice versa too, but you, you neither one of you may understand why. You just don't get along. It's karma's past life energies, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the extended. I'm going to, first of all, let's look at these energies here. Melancholy. These are, this is the Pluto energy. This is the psychological energy behind uh, what Saturn wants you to look at as far as, okay, now, you know, it's, it's time to end this. So for some of you, like I said, you may have gone through this all through your childhood into a certain level of adulthood. And now Saturn has said, okay, you paid your karmic debt. So now you have to accept this and not go back to them. That's going to be hard for a lot of people because these people are going to be reaching out to you. Not to go back there. For some of you... It may be an energy of going back there and healing things, but if these people haven't changed and they haven't worked on themselves, it would be a waste of time for you to continue to deal with them. That is the way you would determine, okay, well, why should I walk away from my family? We should work things out. We're family. We need to heal things. You don't walk away from family. You work things out. I feel you 100%. But if you are going through a transformation and these other people have not, and they're the same exact person, then you're wasting your time. If they have not shown you that there is some type of change in them, that they've actually gone through some metamor and you could see it and sense it in the energy with them. Because if they haven't changed, they're gonna keep treating you the same way they used to. Little shit is gonna, you know, they may act nice at first, but after time goes on, you're gonna see they're gonna slip back into their own way of treat their their old ways of treating you like shit. And they expect you to this time, they expect you to to, to deal with it. Because that's how they've been treating your ass. So they're not going to do anything different. Why should they change when they were the ones benefiting? Why would they change? They were benefiting from shitting on you. 
the only benefit um, that you had is that you walked away from them. But you feel guilty because in the 3D realm, it's, oh, that's your family. You're supposed to work shit out. You don't walk away from family. Family's loyalty. Family's everything. Blood's thicker than water. Blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo, woo. In some regards, that is the case. But in this regard, it's not. And again, if these people have actually changed, you will notice it. You will see it. If they haven't, it's a waste of time. So what happens is if they reach out to you with the letter in reverse, you may ignore them. If you ignore them, or if you don't ignore them, it could be intimidation. Be careful because somebody could try to intimidate you. Or they, they won't reach out to you because they're intimidated by you. Because they know now you have self-assurance. They know now that you're not sitting here trying to, why don't you love me? Why you fight with me? Why you do me like this? I'm your family. Yo, we supposed to be family. Yo, why you act like this to me? Just tell me what I did. You feel me? Fuck that. Now, we're going to go to the extent here. Uh, so, I'm going to clarify like with two or three cards for each of these. Because again, this is the Saturn energy which is in your fourth house. This could be a, a relationship with your mom that you have issues with. Okay? And so maybe there's a limit in reference to um, you expressing yourself. Okay? Because the letter energy is in reverse. So maybe you didn't express yourself about how you truly felt. So maybe this time you do. Right? But the thing is, is for some of you, you haven't because you're intimidated. Because it could have been a mother figure who was doing you dirty. And you're intimidated by the fact that, yo, I can't be disrespectful to my mom. Or you're not, not even you trying to be disrespectful. But just the fact that that energy of being disrespectful to, a, to my mom. It's very tricky when you're dealing with family. But y'all know, some of y'all know, y'all mom didn't give y'all that emotional support and that emotional love. Some of y'all know y'all felt like y'all was burdened. Y'all was a burden or you was a responsibility. You didn't feel like a loved child. Which is why you grew up looking for love in all the wrong freaking places. And you weren't getting what you wanted because there was no self-assurance behind it. Because you weren't taught self-assurance. When you tried to get that, they rejected you. Right? So, for some of you, it's all about expressing yourself um, and letting this out and letting people know and letting your family member know what's going on. But you can't be intimidated. You have to express yourself. You have to do it from a place of, you don't be all wild and hostile. And there's no need to be disrespectful. It should just be as, yo, this is what it is. I'm good. And if you don't see the change in these people, then you know what it is. You know what Saturn is telling you. Because things can't go back to being the same. Because if they do and you don't resolve this and say you, you go back into this situation, they're going to continue to treat you disrespectfully. You're going to continue to attract people who are going to treat you the way your family treated you. Because you've not healed. You've not learned the lesson. Saturn is looking to see if you learned the lesson. And then Pluto's looking, okay, well, did you change? Did you actually change your mindset, your mind thought? Your D and then as a result, your DNA structure and your frequency in reference to what you're giving out will change. So you will no longer give out the energies, oh, I'm desperate for love. So you will no longer attract predators. You feel me? That's what that is. Now, if you don't change up and you go back into these environments and you still keep dealing with past lovers who did you dirty, because everybody... If you went through this as a childhood, everybody that you know up until now that you met from childhood that you were close with, you may have to disconnect from those people. That sounds crazy, but let me tell you why. Because of the fact that when you connected with them, you connected with them from the place of melancholy and low self-esteem and looking for love. Now, what's going to happen is if you run into these people again, or if you can continue to communicate with them, they will see that you have changed. You will see that you have changed. And as a result, there will be friction in your relationship with this person. Now, if this person is not willing to accept the new you, you're going to have to step off. And some of them are not going to be willing to accept the new you because they've known you all your life as this way. Why now are you changing? And that change is, is a problem for me, so I'm not going to budge. I'm not going to change. So now you have this problem where you're ascending and, you know, as when you go through Ascension 101, everybody can't go with you. It's because they're not going to respect you. They're not going to do you right. So with that being said, this is the thing that you're dealing with. All right, for some of you who will relate to this. So what we'll do is we'll go into the extended. We'll pull three cards for each of these. 
We'll get into what Saturn wants you to learn. Have you learned a lesson from the past life? That karma comes on into this life. You're contemplating that now. You're looking back at it. Have you learned a lesson? So that you can create positive karma moving forward. So that you can have the relationships that you want moving forward. And not keep going back to those messed up relationships. Because you can't go back to those people. You can't. As hard as that sounds for a lot of you, you can't. And, and you've already gone back for some of you. And you know it doesn't work. And you don't understand why. And so for some of you, you may have had that, you know, that uh, that confrontation with some family members, but you're scared to have it with others. You're intimidated to have it with others because for some of you, you're scared to lose this person or these people. And so you don't speak up with the letter energy in reverse. You don't say nothing because you're afraid to lose them. And or they intimidate you in some way, shape or form. But that's something that you're going to have to work on. So with that being said, we'll go to the extended. If this resonates with you or someone you know, let me know by clicking that like button. If you can leave a comment about it, feel free to do so. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Hopefully the link to, oh, the link to the extended is in the box below the video. So hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Take care, Scorpio.